Today we've got a bucket seat install into the Civic Type R. Originally I wasn't going to make a video on this because it's just bucket seat install, but all the Civic Type R bucket seat install videos on YouTube are not telling you that you need this special tool, the Torx Spit T50, because this special tool is what you need to take out the seat rail, the stock seat rail from the Type R. So to save all the other Type R guys the same trouble that I had of getting all your parts, your seats, your rails, all that just to find out that you need this tool to start, you need this tool to start. So unlike any other car, they decided to not go with a normal bolt and they require you to have this special T50 uh, Torx head, Torx bit head. So basically we'll just need to break the four bolts, one, two, and then of course the two in the back as well. And you guys might notice that this is the same status seat that was in my EG, the custom seat, right? I was never originally planning to switch out the stock seats in the Type R because they're so good. They hold up totally fine on track while being extremely comfortable for street driving. So there really was no reason for me to change them. I actually love these stock seats. But since I went yellow with the car, I decided yellow seat in the yellow car might actually really work. And it will just give it a little bit of a different distinction than the other Type R's. Just because, you know, we're dealing with a stock seat with airbags, it's just best practice to disconnect the battery um, a little trouble breaking the bolts but Kevin's stronger than I am so thanks bro so here's the bottom of the seat as you can see one two three wires that you need to disconnect and some clips so we're going with the bride fo type rail and uh, it's a single bracket that holds the bottom right and then some sliders on top and this is good because that way these four positions for the bolts are already set you don't need to fidget with that the seat runs a little narrow but luckily uh, I went to PCI and they were very generous and just uh, gave me these seat spacers. So shout out to PCI, very great customer service. It being a single one piece, there are no questions on fitment. Everything lines up perfectly. All right, so here it is, the status seat in the car next to the stock Type R seat for the passenger, right? So this is how it's going to look with the yellow. Yellow car, yellow seat, something like this, guys. Next to the red. Here's the ugly thing about wrap. The door jams are the same color as original, so it is a little janky, but that's what it looks like. And when the doors are closed, it looks fine. But the seat setup right now sits a lot higher than it did stock, and that's for a number of reasons. Number one, this bride rail, as you can see, as good as the quality is, the build quality, how well it slides and all that, no guesswork as far as fitment. These do sit quite elevated, if you see how much higher this elevates than the ground. So, if you're looking for a lower seating rail, I would not recommend these. These are the bride type FOs. Next, the status seat in general does already sit higher than a bride or Recaro. So the combination of this elevated seat rail plus this, um, I wouldn't say that's the best seating position. It sits quite high. I got this seat rail for a really good deal though, so that's why I just ran with it. But for now, as far as the aesthetic, I am really liking the yellow on yellow. As far as comfort and security, you're not beating the stock Type R seats. I always have good praise about how much I love these stock seats. I think they're the best stock seats in the market. So again, this was purely just a change for a change of pace. Not even for more aesthetics because, dude, the stock Type R seat looks fantastic. Seats aren't a committal mod anyway, so very easy to just change back anytime. All right, that's it for this one, guys. I hope this video helps you out with your Type R seat install if you do decide to do it. And one last thing I forgot to mention, if your aftermarket seat rail does not come with the threads for the stock seat belt to mount onto, the nut you're gonna need for the back end of that for the stock seat belt bolt to go in is gonna be a 7-16-20. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you wanna follow along with the Type R build, and I'll see you guys next time.